folks, this is going to be a very quick video because I'm just going to lip swatch 10 of the new Etude House Colourful Vivid Tints. Now the difference between these new Colourful Vivid Tints and say the Shine Sheet I've tested these for a couple of days and I personally feel that the main difference between the new Colourful Vivid Tints and say the Shine Sheet Lip Lacquers which launched last year is that this is more of a an interesting gel lacquer type product which is meant to stay and last longer than other glossy lacquers. Whereas this, the Colourful Vivid Tints, they are a little bit more caring, a little bit more refreshing and more nourishing on the lips. They do go on with a very icy cooling menthol feel they are supposed to have a plumping effect on the lips so while they still have vivid and intense color and they stain your lips these have a much more comfortable feel through the day I'm gonna lip swatch all 10 and it's going to be a little bit difficult because they are going to stain so as usual I have my Shu Uemua reset tint remover this is a lifesaver when I am lip swatching products
Now, a few final thoughts. I love the feel. It is so fresh. It's so cooling. And most of the time, I find the gel stains from Korea to be quite dry and feeling on the lips, at least for my dry lips. And uh, while the gel stains have a slight sheen to them most of the time, they really do not add back any moisture to your skin. So. Um, I find my lips start to get chapped and then the colour gets patchy, it starts to sink into lines, it starts to grab in dry areas after a few hours and it just doesn't look good. Whereas for these, they stay very even looking, my lips feel kind of plumped and very comfortable for many more hours than compared to traditional gel stains. Of course, these do stain quite a bit, so you have to take note of that when choosing colours. If you are picking multiple colours, just make sure not to choose colours that are kind of close to one another, like these two reds, uh, RD301 and RD302. They do sort of end up looking about the same at the end of the day because the colour does stain your lips. So every shade will intensify and go a little bit more red or a little bit more rosy after a few hours. Which means if you get two sort of similar tones, you would end up with largely the same shade at the end of the day. While these aren't supposed to be traditionally long wearing formulas, the fact that they stain your lips means that the colour is going to stick around for much longer than you would expect. Do also remember that these do have quite a strong fragrance to them, uh, which sometimes I find a little bit odd because as you're applying it, there's this really strong floral scent, which I do not usually expect around my mouth. I expect, you know, sort of fruity or dessert type scents um, when it comes to lip products, but not floral scents. So if you're sensitive to smells, you may not like that. And the last minor con, may not even be a con for most of you, uh, it's just the packaging. I mean, the applicator works perfectly fine. I mean, functionally speaking, these work perfectly. It's really just a very superficial thing. The design of the packaging is kind of plain, it's a little nondescript. And the thing is, we have come to expect really, really cute packaging from Etude House. So I guess it's a little bit of an unfair thing to say because, I mean, I'm used to really, really gorgeous tubes and compacts and cases from them. So this is just very, very basic. It is something that I would expect to come out from, say, Innisfree because they have a really, really minimalist sort of style. And this is not very Etude House, in my opinion. But like I said, it's not a major point. And I don't really think this is a factor most people will include when deciding whether to try this line or not. So I do recommend checking these out. If you like very intense vivid colours, you want a little bit of shine, something that looks like a traditional cream lipstick but maybe stays on a bit longer, but at the same time um, is more moisturising and fresh feeling than a liquid stain. This seems to straddle the line between colour and comfort very well, which is why I'll continue to use this. The last interesting thing I noticed is that it stains your lips, obviously, and then when you remove the product, the colour seems to be concentrated around the centre of the mouth and then blooms outwards, which is actually a really, really nice look. I really dislike stains most of the time because I don't like them to stain the outer edges of my lips. You end up looking like you ate your lipstick off and you just get this dark rim around the outsides which is so ugly to me. I personally prefer my lip colours to be more intense around the centre and then bloom and fade outwards rather than dark at the edges and then 
fade inwards. That may not be a major factor for you, but I just wanted to let you know anyway. So that is it for this very quick lip swatch and um, minor review video. I've worn these for a few days off and on right now, so I think I'm pretty comfortable uh, saying that I like the formula and I love the fact that these are $14.90. They are cheaper than drugstore lipsticks in Singapore. So definitely, definitely go and take a look at these if you like the kind of a juicy, glossy, but non-drying formula. Anyway, thanks for watching as always and I will see you again soon. Bye!